Hi guys, today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the AOS IP ROM running on my OnePlus 6T. It is running awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look. Hi guys, so I've been daily driving this ROM for the last two years. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I've been actually daily driving for almost three weeks, all right? I've been a little busy with my daughter's golf tournament. By the way, she just finished third at San Francisco Junior Championship today. So I'm really proud of her. Um, that's why I've been not uploading videos. Um, but yeah, quick shout out to my daughter, Peony Lee. If you guys wanna congratulate her, definitely tweet me and I'll show it to her. Uh, anyway, AOSIP, this stands for Android Open Source Illusion Project. This is a ROM that's not really on many phones. The OnePlus 6T is one of the very few uh, phones that it supports, but it runs nearly flawless. I've tried many other ROMs for the OnePlus 6T. Uh, one of the biggest problems with other custom ROMs, like I've tried Havoc, the problem was uh, the video camera um, would work sometimes, would freeze, and I had problems. So this one has the video camera working. Also, I've had problems with Signal 4G LTE, uh, especially VOLT, sometimes not working with other ROMs. This one works out of the box. I've had zero problems. I'm using Verizon uh, SIM card, by the way, uh, which makes it a little bit harder, but on Verizon SIM card, everything works. My voice works. I'm on LTE Plus, as you can see. And also, um, if you're on T-Mobile, it should also work great, or any other carrier. All right, this ROM, I really like it. It runs really fast. Battery life is excelente. Um, you will notice that I've got icons out here, a ton of icons. I really hate having multiple home screens because I'm one of those fast guys. I need to get to the app. I don't even like using folders. So I like to have them just on the first home screen. So that's why I put all my apps, all my important ones just there. So I could just, you know, do one handed or, you know, I hate swiping, all right? Saves time. So I really love the launcher that it comes with. Um, you can also set seven icons in the icon dock. So you can set that there. Number of columns, number of rows. Of course, you could probably do it with Nova, but I really like this launcher. Overall, very nice launcher. And also for root, I've got Majisk. Magis root runs flawless. You get safety net check, which is also another plus, which was another problem I was having with Havoc ROM of safety net would not pass. All right, Netflix works great. Any app that checks for root, um, you're gonna have no problem with this. All right, let me go ahead and show you the camera real quick. So you can go ahead and install the OnePlus camera APK um, and your camera will work out of the box. So photo will work great, 2X will work great. Front camera will work great. A video camera works great. All right, which is which is the main reason I'm using this ROM, but it's also an excellent ROM. Also, 4K video recording works great with the two cameras. Um, so that's like the main thing for me because if I'm using my phone, this phone as main phone, I need to have the video camera working to take videos of my daughter while she plays golf. All right, um, it's also got Nightscape. Uh, I think it works. I don't really use it for using Nightscape. I do recommend just installing Google camera and using the night site, which is like 10 times better. So this is what I do. Pro mode is broke, so don't try that. Portrait mode is also broke. Um, but again, you can go ahead and use the Google camera. So go ahead and use the Google camera. You can use the portrait mode. Let's go ahead and take a selfie. And uh, you will notice it process it nicely there. And um, also, Night Sight works flawless, which is great. Works for both front and back camera. I really love the Night Sight. It's a lifesaver. It just totally changes your phone. So camera works flawless um, compared to other ROMs, which is the main reason I installed it. But that's not all. This ROM does come with a ton of customization you can find under settings, Owl's Nest. Oh, this is by Android 9.0, by the way, if I didn't mention it. Um, status bar, you can go ahead and change your battery. You can go ahead and change your battery style to dotted circle or whatever your favorite is. You can go ahead and change your carrier label. Um, you'll see I have my own custom carrier label, high on Android. Of course, biggest thing with this ROM compared to other custom ROMs, other custom ROMs, they don't have in display fingerprint working, but this one does. All right, it's a little slower than Oxygen OS, but I could live with it. All right, clock, you can go ahead and customize. 
Now you can go ahead and hide the notch using the default Android menu. So I'm not using the top part of the screen. This way I can go ahead and move my clock to the center, which I have, right? Leaving more room for notifications, which I like to do. Um, there's a ton of options you can do, um, such as if you don't need a VOLT icon, you can turn that off to save more space. Now I left it on because with Verizon, if your VOLT doesn't work, you can't receive calls. So I left that on. All right, um, network traffic, ticker, more cool stuff. If you go into quick settings, you can go ahead and enable um, stuff like brightness slider uh, or hide it. All right, you can go and customize animations there. Um, notification, you can also customize your notifications. For example, you have this app that's super annoying. You can go ahead and blacklist it. You can make the notification less annoying. You can totally customize it. Um, stock Android or even Oxygen OS doesn't really give you a lot of customization customization with notifications, but this one does. All right, so you can even add a kill app button. That's kind of cool. Um, hardware buttons, you can also go ahead and customize your power button here. So advanced reboot straight to twerp, which is very nice. A uh, volume buttons, if you listen to a lot of music and you want to customize these buttons, go right ahead. A uh, recents, you can go also go ahead and change the recents to back to Oreo, change the icon pack. Good stuff. Um, lock screen, this is where you're going to be able to customize the lock screen with a lot more stuff. Um, auto face unlock, if you want to enable that, that will automatically unlock your uh, phone with your face. A visual visualizer, you can have visualizer on your lock screen, which is really nice if you're listening to something like Pandora. Um, gestures, this is pretty cool. Three finger gesture, screenshot, very cool stuff. Um, double tap to screen on the lock screen or status bar, double tap. All right, lock screen, boom shakalaka, very nice. All right, advanced settings, um, some more advanced settings, show CPU info if you want. I don't want to do that. Blinking flashlight on call. <laughs> I don't know why people use it. I just find it very annoying, it's, um, but you could do that if you want. So there's a ton of options you can do with this ROM. Other than that, you get pretty much Regular Android settings, all right? Um, all the regular Android stuff you'll find here in settings. Um, so overall, I really like it. I feel like the battery life is a lot better. Um, I feel like, especially standby, I feel like stock Android is way better than Oxygen OS. And performance is excellent. I feel like it's slightly even faster than Oxygen OS. Um, so another reason I install it. Everything pretty much works on this ROM and really turns your OnePlus 6T, it really supercharges it. All right, it's a supercharger for your phone. So definitely check it out. I really, really love this ROM. Otherwise, I will not be making a video about it, as you guys know. And thank you guys for watching this video. Hit the thumbs up. Um, I will have the full tutorial on how to install this probably by tomorrow or the day after. If you want to help yourself, um, I put all the download links, all the files I use in the description here. Um, so check that out. It's um, If you already know how to install ROM, very easy to install. Go ahead and try it and do let me know what you think. Have a great day, folks, and as always, stay <laughs> on Android. Click here to subscribe, 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 to subscribe.